In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to turn on dark mode in Google Docs so that you can work on a Google Doc in a dark room without being blinded by a super bright white light. Or maybe you just prefer the look of dark mode. The Google Docs app that you would use on a phone or tablet actually has a really good dark mode setting that Timmy will show you a bit later, but unfortunately the Google Docs website which is of course where most people would be using Google Docs, doesn't actually have a setting to turn on dark mode. So the only way to use dark mode in Google Docs on your computer is to use a browser add-on. So Timmy's tested a lot of different browser add-ons and Timmy's favorite by far is one called Docs After Dark. This one here, it works really well and it's available on Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Opera, so it should work on your browser, no matter which one you use. Unfortunately, Timmy couldn't find a dark mode extension for Safari, and Timmy doesn't have an Apple computer, so Timmy couldn't test it even if there was one. So if you're using Safari, you might need to consider switching browsers, but as long as you're using a compatible browser, it works really well. If you're in Chrome, you'll just need to open up the extension in the Chrome Web Store here, and there'll be a link to it in the video description down below. And then when you're here, you'll just need to click Add to Chrome, and it will pop up asking if you want to add it to Chrome, and you'll just need to click Add Extension. And now it might take a second for it to add, and then as you can see here, the extension will be added. So now you might want to pin it to this menu here so that you'll always be able to see it. So to do that, just click on the puzzle piece icon up here. And then in this menu here, find the extension Docs After Dark and click the little pin icon next to it. And now it will be pinned up here and ready to use. So now you're pretty much ready to use dark mode in Google Docs. So if you already had a Google Doc open, like this one here, you will have to refresh the page before it will take effect. So to me, I'll just do that now and click refresh. And then once the page reloads, you'll be in dark mode and you'll see all the Google Docs interface is all dark. And if you click on any of the menus like this, everything will be dark and it all looks really quite good. The only thing that won't be dark is your actual document here, which will stay the same, but there is also a setting that will help with that. So if you click on the extension up here to open up all the options, there is the global toggle here and that will turn off dark mode and turn it back on again. So if you want to turn off dark mode during the day and have it look normal, you could come in here and click that button to turn it off. And then when you want it back on again, you can just click on. And these buttons here are supposed to change the page color of your document, but Timmy's kind of find, found they don't really do anything. So you can try clicking them and it's meant to change the color but that doesn't seem to work for Timmy, but maybe it would for you. But what you can do if you want to make your page darker is click this box that says invert. So click on that to tick it. And now it will make every color in your document the opposite color. So as you can see, the white background is now black and the black text is now white. So. That can be really good if you want everything to be super dark on your screen, but it can make some things a little bit weird if you're using colors in your document. So for example, what's meant to be the blue links here have turned orange and any images in your document will look quite weird and frankly, a little creepy. And as you can see down here, Timmy had some orange text that is now blue so it will mess with the colors, but if you want to have everything super dark while you're working on it in a dark room, you might want to turn this on anyway and put up with the strange looking colors. And then when it's light again and it's daytime, you could turn it off and all the colors will go back to normal. 
So, if Timmy clicks up here now and unchecks this box, everything will be back to normal. So it hasn't harmed your document at all, it's just made it darker and nicer to see for the time that you wanted it to be darker. And that's all there is to it in Chrome, but in any other browser it's very much the same. In Firefox, you'll just need to find the add-on on the Firefox add-on website thing, and the link to that will be in the description down below. And then, once you've found it, you just need to click Add to Firefox here, and it will pop up asking if you want to add the add-on, and you'll just need to click Add, and now it will be added. So now, if you go and open up a Google Doc, you won't even need to refresh it, it will just be all in dark mode, just like in Chrome. So all the menus will be in dark mode and everything like that, just like in Chrome. And the only thing that won't be dark is the page. But if you click up here, you have all the same settings as you would in Google Chrome. So you can turn dark mode on and off with that button there. And there's these buttons here, which can change the color of your document page. So these buttons don't work for Timmy in Google Chrome, but they do work for Timmy in Firefox. So it seems these buttons are a little bit buggy, but it's worth giving it a try and seeing. So on default, it's completely white. And if you click shade, it'll make it darker and dark gets really dark and black will make it completely black. So you can do that if you want, but even if these options do work for you, the it won't change the text. So if you have black text and you've just made your document black, that won't be too good because you won't be able to read anything. So what you could do is you could make it a shade if you want, and that would just make your document a bit darker so it's not so blindingly bright, but you can still read your text quite easily. Or if you prefer, you can leave this set to default and then just click invert. And now all the colors in your document will be the opposite color. So the white page has turned black and the black text has turned white, just like in Google Chrome. But the downside in ticking this box, just like Timmy showed you in Google Chrome, is when you tick this box, if you had any other colors in your document, they will all get a bit weird, but if you really want to make everything dark, this is a good option. And if you decide you don't want to have the colors inverted anymore, you can just untick that box and it will go back to normal. Or to do this in Microsoft Edge, it's once again very much the same. You just need to find the add-on in the Microsoft Edge add-on store and once again, there'll be a link to it in the video description down below. And then just click get to get the extension and click add extension on the pop-up that appears. And you just have to wait a second for it to add. And now it's been added and it's been hidden behind this extensions button here. So if you want to leave it behind the extensions button, you can do that but Timmy prefers to click on the extensions button and click the show in toolbar option so that it appears right here and is easy to access. And now once it's installed, you're ready to use dark mode in Google Docs in Microsoft Edge. So you'll just need to go to a Google Doc and if you had any Google Docs open, you will need to refresh the page in order for it to take effect. So to me, I'll click the refresh button now and it will refresh it. And now Google Docs is in dark mode. So as you can see, the whole interface is dark, just like in Google Chrome. And all the menus are dark, just like in Google Chrome or just like in Firefox. And that's really all there is to it. If you click on the extension up here, you'll have some options just like in every other browser. So you can turn it off and on and off and on. And there's these buttons to change the color of the page. And as Timmy said before, these might work for you and they might not. So it's 
probably just worth giving them a try. They don't seem to be working for Timmy right here. And you can always tick the invert box and that will make all the colors in the document be the opposite color. And finally, in Opera, if there is anyone watching this video who uses Opera, you'll just need to open up the extension in the Opera add-ons website. And once again, there'll be a link to that in the description down below. And once you're here, you'll just need to click Add to Opera and it will say installing and you'll just need to give it a minute to install and now it's installed and you'll see a message telling you it's installed. So you can close that now and the extension will be hidden away. So if you're happy for it to be hidden away, you can leave it hidden like that. But Timmy prefers to have the extension visible. So Timmy will click on this box here and click pin so that the add-on is visible here. And now, once you've installed it and maybe done that, you're ready to use dark mode in Google Docs on Opera. So, if you open up a Google Doc, if you currently have any Google Docs open, like this one here, you will need to refresh the page before it will take effect. So to me, I'll just do that now. And then when it reloads, it's in dark mode and the whole interface of Google Docs is in dark mode, just like this, as you can see here, just like in all the other browsers. And just like in all the other browsers, if you want to change any settings, you can click up here, and this button will turn dark mode off and on. And there's also these buttons here, and they're meant to change the color of the background of your document, but they don't always work and they're not working at the moment, but it's worth giving it a try because they might work for you. But you can always choose the invert option and then any color in your document will be the opposite color. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to using dark mode in Google Docs on your computer. But as Timmy mentioned before, if you want to use dark mode in the Google Docs app on a phone or tablet, it's actually quite a bit easier. When you're in the Google Docs app, to enable dark mode, all you need to do is tap on the menu icon here and tap on settings. And then somewhere in the settings menu here, you'll find theme. And then you can just tap on choose theme. And in this menu here, choose dark. And now Google Docs is in dark mode and the entire app is dark. So if we go out of settings, back into the main Google Docs page, all of that will be dark. And if you tap on one of your documents, even your document will be dark. And we've got a black background and white text, just like in the Chrome extension on the website. But we've also got the blue link actually looking blue and the image looking how it's meant to look and not being creepy. And the orange text is orange. So. That's really cool. And now everywhere, every document in your Google Docs app is dark like that. And when you decide you no longer want to have dark mode in Google Docs, you can just go back to the home page here and tap on the menu here and tap settings and tap choose theme. And now you can set it to either light or system default. So if you set it to light, that will just be back to normal and it will always stay that way. But if you set it to system default, that means if your phone supports dark mode, whenever your phone is in dark mode, Google Docs will be in dark mode. And whenever it's in normal light mode, Google Docs will be in light mode. So Timmy's going to tap system default and that'll mean because Timmy's phone is not in dark mode, it'll go back to light mode. And that's all there is to using dark mode in Google Docs. So now, if you're using Google Docs in the dark, it won't look so bright, no matter what device you're using. So, that's really cool. And if you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And Tamil, see you in the next video.